In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new water treatment update that has been added into this wipe, which includes all of the new keys, all of the new doors, the roof access, all of the new rogue spawns, and all of the new crazy loot spawns that they've added to the area. So make sure you subscribe to this video to see more stuff like this, and let's crack straight into it. So for my rogue farming guide for this wipe, th this is the loadout that I recommend you use. You can use whatever gun that you want to. Personally, I'm going to use the MDR because I think it's the best, but there's many different types of guns you can use. You can go budget if you are broke. That's completely up to you. There's plenty of guns that you can use for that. I highly recommend that you bring the MDR as this is like the easiest gun for killing the rogues. Um, these are all the keys that I recommend to you. So you got the water treatment plantment key. Uh, oh, sorry, water treatment plant storage key you can buy this on a flea market for 100k this is one of the best keys on the um compound though if you guys didn't know they actually added new rooms inside the compound as well as being able to loot the roofs so i will show you that later on in the video but these are the keys i highly recommend that you buy so this one then operating room which is 470k there is a quest this is a quest key uh but there's also some very high loot spawns in there that i recommend you buy this uh, it's pretty expensive, but you'll make your money back pretty quickly. And then there's the police key, which is pretty slept on. Not many people know about this rare loot spawn. Um, and I'll show you how to get into that. There's actually some really rare, rare stuff in there. Green key card, you ready? No! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Uh, so make sure you buy this key as it's very cheap. Uh, Rogue Usex Stash Key, the Barrett Key, and the Workshop Key are optional. These are just like additional um, loot that you can get on the run if you want to. They don't really have crazy loot, obviously, but it's additional loot that you can pick up on the run if you're near it. So I highly recommend you buying these if you want to make more money. And then lastly, I recommend that you bring some rubles for the car extraction if the northern checkpoint is not up. The rubles are really handy for extracting, and I actually see the car quite a lot, so uh, you can bring those. I also recommend a sick case as it's got a lot of key storage, uh, but that's completely up to you. If you do have max traders, you can pick this up for like 2 mil from uh, the Jaeger bar to trade. But honestly, a dox case will just be fine like this anyway. Uh, it's not really a big deal. Um, if you want to be min-maxing and do it faster, I recommend bringing a Melodonin. It's 15 minutes of increased stats, which is huge for navigating around the map and being quick. Uh, that is pretty much the rundown of what you'll need in this part of the video. But yeah, I'm a bear, so... Oh, fucking God, bro. Are you kidding me? You saw that guy? My man's proned in spot. What are these guys doing? They were just spawn camping. Huh? What the hell? They were just chilling in spawn. They would not. <laughs> this guy didn't have a magazine in his gun. What is that thing? M855. Interesting. Oh my god. Bro, I just got a three man already. Thank you very much, Zerk. I hope you're doing well, brother. What up, man? All right, well, people are going to be like, how the fuck have we got all this loot already? We, we, can, we can include the kills, right? If we have to. So I don't die here. So, if you spawn on this side near Merrin, what you can do is, for the first rogue, let's come up here. The standard, prone here, and shoot this rogue in the face. I'm going to give you an example of how I do it when I spawn on the other side. Just in case you guys did get that spawn. So, two seconds. Oh, the scab almost kills me. So, by the way, I am a bear doing this. So, I have got the extra aggro range. So, I'm going to show you how you uh, deal with that. Go all the way around here. Oh, scab going crazy. Go this way. This is if you spawn up here on this side of the hill and don't want to cross the road as a bear. What you want to do is you want to run up to this rock like so. And what you can do is you can, like, run across this truck right here. So... Use the line of sight of this truck in front of me. And then what I'll do is, I can either run across, which is a bit risky, and kill the one right here, or I can do this. Run up, crouch right here, shoot this rogue in the face. He's dead. Um, and then, to play it safe, you can, you can go here and do it. It's a bit risky. I do it sometimes. Or you can just jump across like so. Run all the way around here. And then just walk through here. You'll be safe from all of the rogues, easily. Uh, just so you guys know, um, BSG did change the rogues to swipe. 
Uh, they do spawn randomly now. Uh, apart from the front two, the front two will always spawn here. And then all you gotta do is just come right here. Tap in. He's good. So, pretty much, these two rogues that we just killed are 100% spawn rate. They'll always be up without fail. They'll never not spawn. Sometimes they can get aggroed and move down and go into, like, the compound. But most of the time, they'll always come back. Obviously, um, there's the rogue on the roof here. They've changed a little bit here. Uh, you can just come right here. Shoot him straight in the head like so. Just be mindful, too, when you kill him. Because sometimes the rogues, uh, the rogue on the other side can aggro and come to this turret and kill you. Especially if you, um... Especially if you aggro the rogue that's all the way on the big grenade launcher. If he aggroes you and tries to shoot you, uh, it can actually aggro the guy on this building too and make him move. So just be mindful of that. Um, so those rogues are dead. They have changed the rogues inside this building here a little bit. They can actually spawn inside the building. So I'll show you that after. So nothing's changed with, like the loot spawns here. It's still pretty much the same as last wipe. All the loot is still spawning in the same spots. The rogues pretty much have the same gear. So you see how he's aggroed on me now, right? He shot. You want to be mindful of that because that means the, the other one right here can aggro this turret. So just be very mindful when you hear those shots because it can get you killed very easily. Obviously, the loot is the same on the rogues. Nothing's changed there, really. Most of the money you make on these guys are from the helmets and uh, sometimes the ammo. So grab that. And then you just come over here, check for the armor, repair kit spawn. Um, the armor repair kit spawns next weapon are going to be pretty heavy uh, for loot because if you didn't know, BSG is adding in like a new mechanic for repair kits where they're going to be buffed up. So make sure you check that. That might actually come in this wipe. So if it does, the price of those will like skyrocket. So make sure you check that that spawn a lot. Definitely want to save and stock up on those. Uh, obviously, there's a loot crate here. I always loot that. I'm just going to show you the stuff that I loot on my route. Um, I know there's going to be some things that I will miss, but um, I don't usually loot things like that unless it's like efficient so we're just gonna loot this rogue right here he didn't really have anything good here apart from the uh, afac pretty much pretty much the same as last wipe this guy's destroying my thorax that's a player i'm not gonna continue to loot him because that guy's messing me up there's a player scav, us, scav on a snail already somewhere I think he went in the tower. He's dead. That, I think that was a player scav. Let me see. Yeah, player scav already. Nice. Nice, man. Okay, so we cleared that. I'm not gonna do the loot spawns just yet. I wanna show you guys this warehouse uh, rogue spawns, just so we uh, are clear from it. So up on the left here, there's some loot spawns. Always wanna check these. Right here, loot spawn. Pretty much everything spawns here, juiced up. Um, then you can open this on the route if you want to. Uh, I think it is the Rogue Usex dash key. You're not gonna get crazy loot in here, but there is three containers. So if you are trying to make a bit more money per run, you can come in here and hit that if you want to. Personally, I don't hit it unless I'm down like really bad. It's completely up to you. You, do, you know, you just get like stocks and attachments, suppressors and stuff like that. Uh, usually the big green ones are pretty good. There is a chance of getting red rebels and tigers from this big one, so make sure you check that. Um, okay, so that's covered. There is some food spawns and defuel spawns on these cinder blocks, so check those too. And then there's another rare spawn right here in this box. Check that. Okay, so now, this is what a lot of guides miss out on, on Lighthouse, is this, uh, um, truck right here. This truck has got really, really rare spawns. So far, I've only found intels in here. Which is still like 200 plus K. But I have heard there is key card spawns. I've never seen it, but I've heard there is key card spawns inside this truck. So make sure you buy it as it's only 20k. There's a guy on the rock. And this raid is so active. Okay, another player scab. So there's two things you can do, right? So you can walk up and loot the item right here. Um, or if you got max strength, you can jump up on the truck like so. Um, it's a bit, little bit annoying. And then what you can do is you can walk on the door and then you can see if anything spawn and then just like drop down and loot it midair. Uh, if you got a buddy, you can also boost a friend up there, but honestly, you should just be able to walk up and loot it. The intel usually sits like on the pedal, so it's very, very easy to loot. But yeah, this key is like 15k, so make sure you buy it. It's definitely worth it. So that is that done. 
So we're going to go back to the middle compound and hopefully that guy isn't shooting at me again. There's going to be a box over here that you can loot. These technical boxes are always full of really good loot. So you just hit this. Same as last wipe. Nothing's changed here really. Rare spawn on the table right there. Some attachments on that shelf. Another rare spawn inside this box. Boom. There's more players. There's just so many players, Gavs. Fuck you. And then what you can do is um, another rare spawn right here. Toolbox. It's up to you if you want to loot it. And just jump on this. Come along here. Gonna be another rare spawn in this crate. Right there. Loot this and look down so people on the rock can't snipe you. Little tip. Pick up. You want to look for TNTs. These things. 22k a slot. Pretty big. There's also another rare spawn no one knows about right there on that little uh, floor board thing. Come in here, there's a uh, weapon crate, weapon crate, weapon crate, and a weapon crate. You can loot those if you want to for suppressors. On this one, I'm going to skip it because I want to be fast. Now, there's the helicopter area of the compound, which not many people loot. I never see people there, really. Uh, there's a loot spawn there. You can check that. And a weapon crate. So, hopefully we don't get killed here, and I'll show you them. But they are worth checking if you are trying to like juice up. So just up for two months. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for the prime for two months, bro. So there's a spawn here for like pox ram and like plex glass. If you want to check that, another crate. This is what you're mainly looking for on this on this map is the technical crates. They're pretty nice. Spawn on these boxes. All oh, that's 20k. It's not too bad. Um, there used to be Tetris spawns right here, but I haven't seen them in ages, so don't check it anymore, really. Check this wooden crate through the, the tent. There's some attachments, nothing crazy in there. Green flare doesn't really do anything. It, this is completely optional, it's up to you if you want to loot this. I recommend it if you're trying to get, like, full juice raids, but... If you're on a speedrun, you don't need to. If you're speedrunning, you're mainly looking for high-value items, right? So, you can skip that if you want to. Just be careful of the rogues. Jump over here. There's more weapon crates. I'm gonna skip them for now. I'm just gonna look for the big box. 20k, uh, 7k. So you got toolbox. You've got a normal weapon crate. You have a med bag, I think, in back of the heli, which can sometimes spawn ledexes. So if you want to check that, there's a ledex spawn in there. You got to get lucky. There is also a big weapon box here and some attachments. And you can get meds on the floor here occasionally, like IFAX and stuff, and some morphines. So that is pretty much the helicopter part done. And all of the middle part on this side. And then we're going to do the roofs of this uh, of this warehouse. Okay. Another rare spawn here. There's actually a Bitcoin spawn in this tent that not many people know about. It'll spawn here with a gold chain sometimes. Uh, another attachment spawn here. Same as last wipe pretty much. You guys know all this stuff already anyway, but there is some more spawns not many people know about. Thank you for the eight months, man. Another technical crate right there. And there's a gold chain spawn on that desk too. So that's that done. That's like pretty much the middle compound complete. You can choose what you want to do there. If you want to speed run it and get high value items. Or if you want to like, you know, get everything. It's up to you. Now I highly recommend you get a grenade here. And throw it in. Reason being is, there is two rogue spawns in here. Actually three, sometimes three. They usually sit on this side. And sometimes they'll aggro around here. If they are in here, what I recommend you do is back out. Close the door. And use this truck as cover to kill them. When they come through. And that's pretty much it. I highly recommend you don't fight them in here, as the audio is very buggy. Uh, so there's some rare spawns here. This is really, really juice spawns. Just make sure you come and check this. Also, another rare spawn right there. You can get, like, out ices and stuff like that. So, or aces, sorry. And then, pretty much the same as last wipe. You go up on this shelving unit area thing. Run along here. More rare spawns along the floor, like so. Just check them all. Can get graphics cards there as well. And in these little offices now, they've actually expanded them. Um, I don't really check them every single run. I'll check them occasionally. Uh, but this one doesn't have anything crazy other than a weapon box and a tool uh, toolbox. So you can check that if you want to. There's a lot of new spawns now in these little rooms, which is really nice. Check on this big spool for uh, any rare spawns like that. Alright, so. There's some more spawns on this side. Right here, check there. There's a spawn that you can get. There's a CPU fan or CPU as you can see. So now on to our next key is the operating room key. This key is 470k. You need this request, but it's also a very good loot room as well. So open this, boom. 
Come on in. There's going to be two spawns. One right here, Bitcoin, and one right there, like ices and transmitters. Another bag that can spawn lead X's. You check this. Obviously, it's rare, but you may as well check it, right? Um, and then you can also check the scab if you want to. It's just pretty much RNG at that point on the scab bodies of what you get. Um, and that's pretty much operating room. We didn't get anything valuable this time, but I highly recommend you buy this key. It is very, very worth it. So when we move over to here. There's another loot spawn in this room. Spawns right on this desk. Uh, same as all of the broken crates, pretty much. It spawns right there where I showed you. Um, now, typically, I don't really loot any of the other rooms as I don't think it's worth it. Um, isn't this like a barracks in here? It is. There's a duffel in here. I don't, as far as I know, I don't think this crate spawns anything. And there's another dead scav. Personally, I skip these rooms because I don't think there's anything really valuable in here. But it's completely up to you if you want to. Like I said, all of this got expanded this wipe. So check it if you want to. All right, so now we're going to do the roof. But first, double check the uh, roof for the rogues. Really easy to kill. You just tap him here. This one should already be dead from earlier if you were paying attention. And then you can snipe this one from right here as well. Pretty easily. Um, so you can go up into here as well. There's more loot spawns all over the place in here. You can use these windows to your advantage. Personally, I don't come in here uh, on my route, but this is just optional if you want to. To check for extra stuff. Alright, so we're going to loot the roof now. Uh, just be mindful of the rogue on this roof. They can beam you across. And there is a boss spawn for the new rogue bosses over there. So be careful of that as well. So just run up. I like to jump here. To avoid the barbed wire. Come on straight up and just shoot the rogue in the back of the head if he is there on the turret. You can get some sugar spawns here and moonshine. So check that. Um, there's not really crazy loot up here. Which sucks. But uh, it's just been able to come up here and loot the rogues. Which is really nice. So I didn't, I didn't kill this one. So we've got to be careful. So we strip these three attachments off the guns like that. And I'll just dump all that stuff in there. I'm going to have to kill this guy. I'm going to pop a mule stem here. Hello? No. Yo, don't come up, okay? What? Don't don't come up, don't come up. I'll, I'll kill you if you come up. I'm sorry. Are you a team here or scab? Scab, man. I'm a scab. Yeah, we do. Okay, there's another rogue right here. Don't come up though, okay? There's landmines. What are they doing? So, another helmet. Grab the meds. Ah, oh, we might die here, boys. I won't lie. Okay, so you loot that. There's a suppressor spawn right here too, so you can check those if you want to. The roof doesn't really have crazy loot. You're just up here for the... You're just up here for the, um... The, uh, what is it? The rogue loot, pretty much. I'm gonna show you a quick way to get down here without taking the stairs, so... What you can do is... You can run and jump on this pipe and flank all the way around. Or you can like run off the front here. I'll show you real quick. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man, come on. This is so ass. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I've killed so many fucking player scams, dude. What the fuck? Holy shit. There's so many. Okay. No ammo? We got no ammo, bro. Okay, we got 10 bullets, basically. Unless one of these has got like M80 or something. Got some M80 in here, man. This guy got. It's kind of in a sketchy spot to loot, but fuck it, I'm doing bad. I mean, I could use one of the guns. Oh, I've said, show. More slots. So, yeah, so what I was saying was, there's two ways to get down if you are trapped. You can run along this pipeline here. Uh, drop down there. And then drop your backpack. Did I see something? Drop your backpack and then just drop onto that. And you shouldn't break your legs if you let go of your uh, keybinds. If you drop, completely let go of all of your keybinds. And it will uh, reduce the chance of your legs breaking, by the way. Just a little bit of a trick. With Tarkov's uh, 
system. Just make sure you're not heavy. Alright, then what I like to do, because it's faster and safer, I guess, is drop the backpack off the top. Jump onto this. Hit this. And then just run down this. And you're good. You can do it better than that, but that's what I like to do. Check the rare spawn. Okay, we're coming up on the next warehouse now. A lot of high spawn, like high value spawns in here. Same as last wipe, just check all of these shelving units for the rare stuff. Purpose of the video, I'm not gonna like loot everything. I'm just gonna try and get in and out here real quick. Up here, there's three spawns. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, so they actually added a new room this wipe. If you come in here, there's two weapon crates right there and right there. You can loot those if you want. And there's also a cabinet. Personally, I'm not gonna loot them because I'm in a rush. As you can see, they did add a car here now. But don't worry, because none of the rogues actually spawn in this building anymore. They won't actually spawn, like, uh, in here. Like, the old ones, which is really nice. Spawns are pretty much the exact same. The only difference is now there is more rooms to loot. So if you come over here, we have another room. You don't need a key for this. Crate here. I don't think this one spawns food, as far as I know. Maybe it does? I don't think it does. Yeah, no. Okay, so this isn't, like, the food crate like it is on, like, interchange and stuff. Uh, along here, there's just, like, loose spawns. A little vodka here. I will show you the keys in here soon in a second. There's a PC and a grenade box here. You can get ammo in here, so make sure you check it. Uh, nothing of value there, really. Unlucky. And then what you want to do is you want to come through here. So I'm going to show you the next key that I recommend you buy. This is honestly the best key in the whole compound, I think, now. As it's got a shit ton of Bitcoin spawns. Um, so what you want to do is come up. This is the water treatment plant storage room key. This is the best key on the map now, I think, for this area. So you open this up. Come on in. Toolbox on the left and stuff here. There's going to be a rare spawn right here on the box. Bitcoin spawn right here where I shot inside the box and also melodonins. Jump up onto this crate right here. And where that GP coin spawn can be a Bitcoin and right here can be a Bitcoin too. And there's also another technical supply crate, which are big for money. So that's pretty much it. They got three dynamic spawns. One, two, and three, four. Sorry, there's four in total. Really, really good room. And then right next to it, there's also another great room, which is don't need a key for. Come in here, open up this. More loot. Obviously, I'm like literally full right now, so I'm, I'm trying to not be overweight. Some pretty, pretty solid loot in here, as you can see. We're filling up a shit ton of stuff. That is those two crates done. I'm going to try and do the roof on this one, chat. I'm not going to take the loot, though, I think. I think I'm going to hide it. I'm going to leave that there. Five shots. Um, actually, there is some stuff up top, too. So, same same applies to these rooms. There's nothing really crazy in these rooms. You can check them. Um, I haven't heard of any, like, rare spawns, so I never really come in here. But it's completely up to you if you want to. These are basically the new rooms that they added for this wipe, which are kind of cool. Another grenade box. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that on the rooms up in this building. Now we're going to go to the roof real quick. So all you do to get to the roof is come this way. Climb up here. Check the rogue spawns. They're all dead, I'm pretty sure. So straight away, I like to go to the right. There's actually some rare spawns on this roof too, which I'll show you. So a scout's been through here and loot this guy. You can get some pox ram on that uh, box there, by the way. So you come on in here. There's tent. How many people know this? There's a rare spawn right here. As you can see, the scab missed it. Very handy. That's 100k right there. Uh, and there is a rare spawn right here, apparently. Never found anything good, though. Never been that lucky. But yeah, just make sure you check the tent like I did. Oh, there it is. There's another one right here. Okay, I didn't know about this one. I've only just learned of this one. But I was told there was more in here. As you can see, Bitcoin on the table. So that scab missed that as well. So, inside the tent, definitely worth checking. Uh, should be a rogue there, and a rogue here. I don't know where they went. They might not have spawned this time. Uh, or they've been lured somewhere. Well, that's that. Also, I'm going to show you a trick, actually. So, if you're stuck on the roof, there's, a, there's another thing you can do on these buildings as well. Is if you come over here. This isn't good. Oh, he tanked it, too. That's not good. I think his helmet ricocheted the bullet. Okay, hopefully he doesn't peep me. 
And I can show you what I'll do. So what you can do is, you can drop your loot off the roof. Did he just tank another headshot? He just tanked two. How many players scavs this raid chat? Holy shit. I don't have a nade. Alright, let's just show you and hopefully he doesn't headshot me. What you do is you go into this ledge, drop down, and then back it up. Yes. Fuck, I missed it. Fuck! I did it. Trust me to do a guide video, right? Live. And I just have an endless wave of player scavs, right? Hang on, chat. How is this guy not dead? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. You can't make this up. You just can't make this up. Okay, so what I was going to show you was, you can like, jump off this and then land in the window. Chat, I've got no ammo. What do I do? Do I just leave? That's, that's a lot of loot though. <laughs> Alright. So that was painful. We haven't finished it. An updated guide, bro. A lot of things have changed on this map now. So I'm just trying to show everyone all the new stuff, bro. You feel me? So many Bitcoins on here and stuff, man. So many. Look. Another Bitcoin. Same place, Bitcoin again. You believe that, dude? They constantly spawn on this map. It's insane. <clears throat> but seriously, Glorious, thank you very much, bro. Yeah. Okay, the rogue's actually helping me. Sweet. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, there was a stim on the green kit. Great, did I miss a stim? Okay, we'll go back for it. Was it inside the tent? Come on, boys. I got two two player scouts, maybe. Okay, we're gonna pop painkillers. I might have flashbanged them there, maybe. Oh hell. I think I killed that one. Okay, one more. Where's the last one? Oh, we killed them both. We got both of them. Okay. I wallbang the other guy chat. Oh, they're PMCs. Damn. Okay. Big chillin'. Got a Gen 4 on. Nice shot today. I think you could wallbang through that vent, man. I wallbang straight through that. Alright, uh... Let me, um... Strip this. Like that. Got a quick two reports, you reckon, dude? I did wallbang both of them. So maybe. <laughs> maybe, bro. Oh, uh, grab this. That's terrible ammo. Grab that. Pretty sure that charging handle's worth a lot, right? Uh, okay, my backpack is right here. Decent raid so far, chat. Alright, so, if you wanted to get down the building fast without taking the stairs, what you can do is, you can come over here, drop your backpack like that, edge out a little bit, and then back up all the way, and then you can, like, come into, like, this, like, windowsill thing type, and then, like, you can drop down if you want to, you can go all along here, or... You can drop Ooh. onto this, and that's it. So that, that's how you get down from the roof, like, fast and easy. Um, and you can obviously come inside, like you saw, like, on that roof there. And that does apply for all of the windows on every single one of these buildings, by the way. So if you're caught in a bad situation, just remember you can do that. I'm going to move to the next building. Can I get thermites on here? So check that as well, if you want to. Same as last one. I know this last building has some new rooms. The new rooms aren't, like, crazy money. But are definitely additional money that you can loot. 
you want to. I will show you the rest spawn on this catwalk. So come all along here. It will spawn in late. There's a spawn right there. And I think there's a spawn right here. And then there's one like right here somewhere. They're a bit random. But there is iridium spawns and stuff like that. As you can see, there's one. Uh, spawn right there. And then I want to show you another rare spawn. That you don't need a key for. You're coming on here. Kill him. I think I got him. Oh, there's a player. So you can get graphics cards right here. And VPXs. As you saw, it's a 1G phone. Uh, obviously, there's jackets and all these little rooms. You can check these if you want to. But that is pretty much the high value loot spawn in this building. And then there is one more right here in that box there. And I'm going to show you the barrack key real quick. Which is right here. I don't really pick up the barrack key. Because I, I don't want to use it. Because it's not like that good. But you can get some suppressors and stuff in here. And like silver badges on this chair. Uh, as you can see attachments, boxes, more boxes. And that's pretty much it for this room. And chat said I missed a G phone somewhere. Hang on. Oh and there's another spawn right here as well I guess. I've never seen that one before. But I have seen graphics cards there. So make sure you check that. Okay so. That is that building done. Um, as far as I know there's no rare spawns on top of the building. Just rogues that you can loot. Same applies to the tricks that I showed you to get off the roof. You can do it right here. Staircase is right there. For this video, I'm not going to go up there because there's nothing up there that I need, really. And I'm going to show you the last key on this compound. I never come this way. But you can if you do have, like, Path to Shoreline as your extraction if you want to. Um, I don't really know what spawns in here, but I've been told it's worth buying. So we'll check it out. Put up uh, flip-flop. Hello, man. So it is this room right here. And the key is the workshop key. So I've never been in here. So you got a jacket, you got a toolbox, another toolbox, and I assume some attachment spawns. So if you really want to loot this, you can. Obviously, it's out your way, but it's completely up to you. Uh, it's just an extra key for additional loot if you want to. So that's pretty nice. Um, and that is pretty much all of the compound. As you can see, this map is literally just a Bitcoin. It's literally a Bitcoin farm. You literally just spawn Bitcoins when you play Lighthouse and do what I'm doing. Oh, actually, almost forgot. Almost forgot. So, a building three. Uh, rogues can actually spawn down here now as well. To bear, just, just to keep it bearing in mind. Um, the ones that spawn on the roof can also spawn down in the floor. So, just be very careful when coming around here. Because it's the same as that building. So, this building, rogues can go inside like earlier. In this raid. And roof rogues can go in this building too. And they can roam all around and go upstairs and everything. So, just be very mindful of that. As it can get you killed. Um, and that's what they did change with the AI this way on this map is they can spawn in a, a few more spots now So it's a little bit more annoying to farm, but it's not that hard. Okay, so there's some more rare spawns on this uh, wooden crate here So as you can see there's some sugar spawns as well that you can pick up if you want to This is handy if you're leaving at northern Jump on this crate Bitcoin and wireless transmitter there and also aces can spawn in there as well uh, And there are sugar spawns along these crates as well that you can check um, and then we're gonna go to the drug lab, which is like the last spot to loot. That is actually a new room this wipe. It's also a quest room. Um, has stimulant spawns and also other rare loot spawns. So I'll show you all of those in a second. Straight away you come on in. Um, so there's a bunch of spawns that are kind of hidden. Stims can spawn here. Uh, ibuprofens can spawn all over the shelf and on the floor, so make sure you pay attention to that. Um, there's nothing on this shelf. There's a rare spawn right in this box. And right on the floor inside this little cardboard, there's a Bitcoin spawn. On this chair, you can also get rare loot inside here. As you can see, an L1 stim. Uh, sometimes there's loot that spawns on the floor in front of it. Uh, there's also spawns on this uh, bed. Another ibuprofen, another morphine. And then you can get like vodka and stuff on the table. Now, there's more spawns on these desks here. You can get mule stims. So make sure you just check in between them. All along here. Just check all along with these little pots as they're kind of hidden. There's a spawn on this little chair. And then on the back shelf here is more ibuprofen spawns and stimulants. As you can see, a mule stim. Pretty nice loot. And then there's a spawn on top of here. I'm missing something here, aren't I? I oh, yeah, meds right down the floor. And another ibuprofen spawn. So that's like 130k in ibuprofen right there. Pretty nuts. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the loot in here. There's a vertex spawn next to these boxes. I found it once before. Uh, it can spawn right there and it can spawn like just around here. So make sure you check it. It's very rare, but it can spawn there. 
So I like to take the car extraction because one, it gives me scav rip on my scav, which is nice. And it's overall just a safe extraction. I think it's uh, around 7,000 rubles and it scales with your rep. So the more rep you have, the cheaper it becomes. If I was to guess, it's a 50-50 whether the car spawns or not. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's not. Uh, most of the time it is up. Uh, that it's a 60 second extraction. And you can also extract inside the bus for cover, which I'll show you now. So it's going to cost me... So I have 4,000... Uh, sorry, I have four uh, scav reps. So it's going to cost me 3.5k. You just go there, and then what you can do is you can just prone and back up and just chill like this. So if there is someone down the road, they can't snipe you. And that is pretty much the run of the whole, whole compound. Uh, all the rogues update spawn points, all of the new loot spawns, all of the new keys. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the guide.